to Jackal as they run Hotline Miami. New game plus all levels. Jackal, the floor is yours. We're live, I think. Oh, Hello, yes. Everyone. I'm Jacko, and we are going to this uh, Hotline Miami staff. So before we really get started, we had a uh, lead work going on, going on on R6, and I will pass the voice to our host uh, announce its results. Sure, sure. So we're we're closing that now and announcing the winner? Uh, yes. I All right. This is a uh, well, Brandon took the lead and ran with it and was the end goal with 27. So it looks like we're going to be going with Brandon for this run. Okay, so I will explain what Brandon actually does on the fly. I think we are we are a little ahead uh, in the time by like four minutes, I believe. So I think uh, I can actually explain what what uh, the what what the, the category is about so ng plus all levels uh, ng plus ng plus actually means that i am playing uh, from the save file i've already accomplished the game from and the all levels essentially means no man week i have to which means that i have to complete the game from a singular segment so essentially i could go into the chapters and then start from uh, start from slab first ever from there. This rule set is actually quite arbitrary. So, if I actually started this uh, the first level like that, and then pick, pick, pick and the mask from there, I could actually go to the main menu and hop into the last level like that. <laughs> Be the shortest run ever. And that way we would have like a one minute estimate rather than 27, 29 minutes. Oh yeah, so and now I will give a quick heads up. Um, so this game features uh, scenes of high impact violence and and are extreme, uh, extremely gruesome and colorful. So if anyone by any means is not being comfortable watching this kind of content, then I would recommend them like right away stop watching the stream for the time being um i think for like 35 minutes i believe this is my estimate time as well as all of uh, of the setup time for the next run would be actually um, pretty optimal i appreciate so, the disclaimer yeah yeah of course um so i think we can just start like right now so the timer starts as soon as as soon as I uh, hit the start game button, which happens in three, two, one, go. So what you so what you just flicked before your eyes was the tutorial. I can actually just skip it by holding right click. That way I'm going to skip a part of the levels like that. For example, this one. I don't have to actually answer the phone since it doesn't make any. Uh, activate any triggers. So we have 26 masks in the game. 26 masks in the game, but I'm going to use only singular one. Brandon the Panther, whose ability is to walk 30% faster. It takes a lot of practice to actually get good with this movement, not to bump on every single corner. As someone with my playtime, I am like more than required not to do that. This does feel the most fitting for a speed run, but uh, what would the other two have done if people had picked either Jake or Tony? Um, so Tony's ability is to kill people with his fists. With his fists, he also has like instant re execution recovery, and the Jake the Snake actually, uh, what he does is to kill people with uh, showing uh, with drawing stuff. I see. So this is a, so this is a per second or first level actually, which is a soft introduction to firearms, while the first level was just 
all about man skirmishes. Yeah, that was level. Not very interesting. But actually, the more interesting stuff is yet to come. For example, in the next level. So, technically, I would be required to enter the, the shops and talk to the dudes uh, within them. But again, they, they don't activate any triggers required to go through the flag and just go into the core like right away. This, so this level essentially uh, features two cool things. For example, I can just use my telekinetic energy to oh. pop the bottom, bottom like that and shoot these three yellow balls. Sadly, this is the only level that features them. It is actually in uh, one more level, I believe, but this is in uh, bonus level actually, which is not this is so that. This is so technically impressive. You're just zooming through these rooms and I'm still trying to process like what half of the enemies are doing and they're, that they're already dead. Yeah, but this is more, this is just what you expect from someone of, of my hotline playtime, I guess, which is like a, a lot of powers put in there. It's going to little broad, it's fine. So since this is the fourth level of the of the chapter, we have a boss fight. Yeah, this man is a boss. Not anymore, rest in peace, dude. Yeah, this game has quite underwhelming bosses, actually. Jeez! Yeah, every time you spin, you spin the girl, you move one frame forward. Very spin like Just imagine being the person getting spun around like that while they're trying to carry you to safety. Yeah, yeah, but this is a video game. Nothing, nothening is actually <laughs> happening to her, I guess. Said I wanted us to spend some time together, not spin some time together. Okay, so uh, in this level, I would uh, like to make uh, like another disclaimer. So anyone with uh, with headphones off or by any means sensitive since ears, I will ask them. I will ask you to um, turn up a volume a little or at all. Yeah, just don't ask me why. Just trust me and do what I say. Well, yeah. All right. By the way, if I can chime in real quick, we now have two brand new incentives open. Uh, three, actually, I believe. We have a sprite bid war for the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker randomizer between Ganon, Grandma, Intellion, Cass, Lucario, Sans, Vati. I don't know if people are able to add their own, but I kind of already want to see Lucario on there or Intellion. I don't think I've ever seen Intellion used before. We also have a $100 incentive to listen to the credits song of Epis Story Typing Chronicles, which... I don't know what to expect, but any time that there's an incentive to listen to a credit song, it's probably a good sign that it's worth listening to. But the one that I'm interested in is the $150 incentive to use an old school keyboard. You guys know what I'm talking about. I think they mean like the ones that when you go rapid fire, it sounds like you're firing a machine gun because I always used to get made fun of for it back when I was in typing class. So... Only a hundred dollars to listen to the credit, uh, credit song, 150 to use the old school keyboard. I know, I know we can hit both of these by the end of this game chat. And I implore you, please, let's make it happen. I would be so proud of you if we could get that 250 combined total. If, if everyone in this chat donated one dollar right now, we could completely finish the credit song incentive or get within 12 bucks of the old school keyboard and if you did that i would top it off myself please let's get it done thanks for these announcements thanks for your patience <laughs> you're welcome um so this run is going actually pretty smooth i believe the first floor of the 
previous level was like the first time I, I died there. So in this so in this coming so the upcoming level is pretty simple but that actually has some cool feature. Let me explain. So these people who use this they not actually target me while I while I'm while I'm close to this wall. You can see he's clearly on my line of sight but he just doesn't do anything. So this segment is kind of technical. I sometimes I sometimes watched it, but uh, it actually went went pretty small this time. Yeah, I have to have 120k high score this level. Apparently, ask me why have I done this? Or how did I do this to begin with? <laughs> So the next level is uh, last level of this uh, given part and features another uh, new feature which are, which are these uh, obs people i can actually only kill them uh, with firearms um, preferably uh, either of shotguns yeah so what just happened was what was the uh, domino like <gasps> no! No! He, they're a good boy! Why would you do that? I guess. So what I what I'm just trying to do is uh, like one of the hardest strats on this floor. And it's okay. I'll... It's okay, chat. That was just a, a trained actor in a dog suit. Yes. He's right. So we're now gonna have a boss fight. So I press the space in the elevator and yeah, I'm just going to fight with this dude. I'm going to play later on anyway. So I can so I can just uh, come over him and smack him like like that since he would kill me instead. So I'm like manipulating his movement to make him throw the cleaver in the door. Well well that trick actually backfired. Well I have um, one more workaround for that is to get him stuck in, in this disc. I hope I can actually make this work. Nice. So as you can see, he continues to get stuck in the wall, spinning around like that. But there's more. If I execute him, this happens. And there's an actual explanation to that. So essentially, developers know when you when you uh, when you start an execution, you are like likely to get stuck in the wall. So they made their little workaround to make the game send you right back in the coordinates you press space from if you actually get stuck. But but the fact is that you do not press need to press space to execute the bike or just to that collide with this hitbox. So, so if I press the, so if I press space in the elevator, I can do I will just. Uh, get more to it instead and save like seven seconds. The lesson we should um, all get from this is if you're ever having trouble getting an elevator to show up at the end of the convention, just execute someone while halfway into a wall and you'll instantly teleport into the elevator, saving you time. Yeah, listen to it. So this is like best music in the game. Anyone thinks that I should actually flag the hydrogen, I just, I just, they, they just has like a problem. Yeah. I'm just sticking for like this. Oh, this is trippy. Oh, this is trippy. But sadly, that was the the only level in this, uh, included in this uh, category that has this music. So sadly, <laughs> not going to listen to it. But yeah, the third part has like the best levels in the game, like very technical runs with a uh, reasonable amount of RNG. Well, mostly, I guess. Crackdown is actually a cool level. I like it. Like it a lot, mostly. 
gonna play out. Five, five minutes, about ten seconds. But also, very hard strats to pull off. And doing this will just not really fun. So, this floor is actually the only floor where I don't have to kill anyone. Spot like on the way of them. And I have to duck with laser. It's what teams will kick in, and I have to just escape from the ball. And there we go. Yes, these guys will be trolling. Never bother. We have a $20 donation that came in from Jushi saying, My lurking has been exposed by a gift sub, and now I must spread love. <laughs> There's something funny about that. Just imagine being like a ninja during the feudal era, hiding in the shadows, and then you receive like a gift sub, and it causes like your phone notifications to go off, or whatever they had in ancient times. <laughs> and that's how you get noticed <laughs> in your stealth, is being gifted out of nowhere. That's funny. Well, we're glad to have you here, Jushi, and thank you very much for the $20 donation. Oh, we also got a six-person raid from Fozon. Thanks for the raid, everybody. Thanks. So, yeah, and a Hutton second Heavy raid. Like... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So Hot and Heavy is like the best level in this game because of incredibly high skill set like he has. I am like one of one of four people in this plan to be in under 50 seconds. Jushi's on the chat, please. So what I will do right now is to take intentional death, and soon I will explain why have I done this. Oh, that was a good one. So the reason why I took that intentional death is because reduced amount of these accolades you can see right now. And that, and only that single death can um, can reduce like a lot of a lot of them, making it uh, a time save. I think at like three seconds. But this is actually the only level where you can consistently uh, do a time save uh, thanks to that. So this is the only floor in this game that has static opponents. They never move unless you make them do so. Oh yeah, also static enemies do not react to gunshots. So this floor is really hard. Very technical. I hope I can uh, pull this off quite Oh man. Could have gone better, I think. So fine. So then, so that this floor is uh, the consistent. And now we have a boss fight, or actually, a um, fight with uh, standalone enemies, where also you have to duck uh, like two water for drops. Okay. Yeah, dying to that fight in like the top level is disgusting, it's pretty good. So we have a boss fight and truly horrible beats happen. Sorry, jump on the kid. So, oh. Do we have time for another donation? Yes, of course. Mr. Jerky Jerky donates $20 and says, I can't choose between Cass and Lucario. So here's a start to both of these in the Sprite Bid War. Here's to getting one nice zero in the next soon. Uh, if it helps, Mr. Jerky Jerky, I failed to mention that this bid war is for the top two choices. So, if Cass and Lucario are the top two picks, they both get used in the Wind Waker run. Um, you could make them virtually kith if you wanted to. So you don't have to choose between one, you can have both if the donations for them are high enough. So keep that in mind, you guys, when you're getting those donations in. And then, of course, remember, we only need $100 to listen to the credits song of Typing Chronicles or $150 to use an old-school keyboard, both of which sound incredibly exciting. Thanks. So this is, like, the only level where I can't kill everyone 
and all, all I have to do is to escape from the hospital and my movement is uh, kind of sorted like that. So what just happens now is a brain freeze when I uh, get ready for the moment. I need to be able to like devices actually free. Yeah, these people are the FCs since, since they can't even hear hear the, the guy escaping across the backs. <laughs> um, so if we have uh, uh, any Marathon uh, Realized Ultimates, then I think it's a good time uh, because this cutscene is going to be like regular. Yeah! Um, I don't have anything else coming in yet. Like I said, we've got plenty of incentives open at this point between the character sprite bid war, the music arrangement bid war, we've got the bonus game. Well, that one was already hit, but we've got listen to the credit song, use the old school keyboard. We've got a lot of different options for people that want to get their money in. Um, and I'm so proud of all of you. Like, we've barely been live for like four hours at this point. Uh, when did we start? Yeah, we haven't even been live for four hours at this point, and we've already raised over a thousand, almost fifteen hundred dollars. I am so, so proud of you guys. And remember, uh, a donation of at least five dollars enters you in for a whole host of prizes that are available during the speedrun marathon. So, five bucks, five bucks gives you a chance at some pretty sweet swag, to be perfectly honest. Thanks. So, I thought it's like the hardest level. We play Savior. I don't know if this is really hard. Oh no. Oh, this one looks particularly hard. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, this level features a mini boss that will shoot me as soon as I uh, appear in his line of sight. Oh, this is a very bad pattern right there, which is. Kind of oh, third time's a charm. Stuff. You got this. No, this, this usually just doesn't happen. Oh, uh, as you can see, I punched him in the, through the wall like that because they uh, didn't program this man's skin back, so he actually blocked through the wall. All uh, L uh, intended way is uh, I would actually have to pick up these this keys there, then come the, all the way around to this man through these doors, and then again come back around to pick up the final. So, really time saving thing that can be pulled by pull out by Johnny and one. Yeah, so this wasn't a very good assault, but whatever. So oh, this is the like the last um, actual jackets level. Man, I gotta listen to this soundtrack more often. <laughs> this has a lot more vibes than I expected. It's very, it's it's very. What's the word? Vaporwave. Synthwave, I think. Synthwave? Yeah, so I have to kill this man right here. I will make sure they keep... Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. This is a pretty like a scene.
So uh, in the upcoming levels, so the upcoming level, the actually the last jackets level is, is, is the also last level of the, the given part is also going to be a boss fight that has three stages. Oh, final chapter already. Let's go. So the first stage is uh, dispatching these two panthers. If they will uh, see me for a long, they will charge them, charge to me like that. But then I have to throw the trophy at her, like that. And then I will have to kill this man. But, uh, probably not just save struts. Oh no. Oh man, this was, this was bad. Oh no! Yeah, I actually need to throw the trophy at the girl like right away, and then I will have like a more power and pattern like that. There we go. So if we have if we have any donations coming on uh, six or other. Yeah, I'll check right now. Yeah. I know we do because we just hit fifteen hundred dollars. Let's go an anonymous donation of 25 saying let's make that an even 1500. Y'all know what to do next. Chat, chat. If anonymous is calling you out, you know you have to make it happen. But thank you very much for that donation anonymous and thank you for getting us to $1500 raised in only in just 6 games in less than 4 hours of this stream being live. I am so proud of y'all. I should say, I should say, it's been about five, five hours, 45 minutes, but in the time that I've been here, I'm still proud of you. Thanks. So, as I said, uh, we're going to play with this, uh, with the dude building a cleaver, who actually uh, plays a very different food jacket, actually. So, for example, he cannot pick enemies' firearms, but he has a few weapons for on his own. A mid cleaver, which is like the best melee weapon in the game, and free throwing knives of perfect accuracy. By the way, that $25 did go towards using the old school keyboard for Epistory Typing Chronicles, meaning we only need $125 to get to hear those machine gun key clacks. I'm, I'm telling you, those of you who are too young to understand this era, it's worth it. You're going to listen to it and be like, how? How did a room full of 15 to 25 people all using these keyboards at the same time, how was the teacher able to do anything? It's it, you got to hear it. You have to. It's a nostalgia bomb for those of us that are old enough to remember, and it's an experience for those of you who are too young to. Please get some donations in. Let's hit that bid incentive for the old school keyboard for Typing Chronicles. So this is like the last actual level of this game. The boss of Tales, may I say. Yeah, forget the dude with MP5, MP5s, the, the man I just killed. This man is actually the final boss of the game, since he can sometimes get like really awkward places, like over there and just kill you. So I say this was uh, the last actual level. And, uh, Next to the next room and the two upcoming level are, are just only for, for story for story for game story's sake. There's one trick, but there's one more cool trick we, we are actually talking about. Actually I, I forgot to mention that biker has like 15% bonus movement speeds, which is like half of the bonus speed Brandon has. Can see him walking a little slower, so I have to kill this man. I just locked down, and I have to kill him as late as possible. Since I since if I kill him, I will lose the the movement speed. So I just put the dude to the wall. That way, then attack a very specific game. That's last game. It's just a. Uh, it's even, it's even, yeah, I know, you know. So the time is coming up, uh, in like 20 to 25 seconds. 
This computer over here is used to trigger the secret ending, which is not required in this category. We just have to click through this, all this dialogue rule. They say it uh, also mean things to us. I can actually kill them, but I don't have to. So the time stops right now. There we go. What a gift from my chat. R. Caleb, De Deathmaster, uh, donating $40, saying, want to do something good today. Thank you so much. And then Jaded Mew with a $29 donation, just saying, nice, bringing our total to $1,569 to close this final game of my shift off. Thank you, chat. You guys are the best. You knew what I wanted and you gave it to me. You're amazing. Congratulations, by the way, Jackal. How are you feeling about that run? So I'm looking at the chat right now. Thanks for GG's, everyone. Yeah, I think that um, that's a sub 27 actually, but I think that was a little underwhelming. But yeah, um, um, I don't really know what I should say right here. Right here, I think uh I. Anything, if you want. Uh, what got you into speedrunning in general? What made you interested in Hotline Miami? Mm -hmm. If there's anyone you want to give shoutouts to? Yeah, so shoutouts to Hotline Speedrunning Discord. Uh, I see uh, several family, family friend faces from there. So I see Blush, I see Mighty Joy, the former world record holder. holder. Oh, yeah, speaking of like, like the world records, Although uh, Hotline Miami is a European-based game, nine, I believe that nine of the 11 people that held world record in this game at any point in this category were actually uh, USA-based players. US emotes and chat everyone. That's really cool. Ah, well, I finally, I finally got to see this game played on a proper marathon. So thank you, Jackal, for donating your time. And uh, it was a pleasure having you here. Congratulations again. Thanks. Um, so in my concluding words, um, in my concluding words, I will, I will ask, I will ask uh, thank to, to the, to the event organizer, uh, organizer for Giving, shot, giving me a shot to participate in this very event. And I would like to thank you, uh, Mr. Sean. <laughs> no problem. I, I love doing this. I love getting to help the community out. And honestly, it's just an honor to get to help provide commentary while you guys do such technically impressive stuff on a, on a genre of games that I grew up around. So... I'm uh, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy that you're here. It's a good time all around. So, in this uh, another concluding or words, uh, I invite you, of course, to continue watching the marathon and supporting the good causes it serves. And what's got any any if, and if uh, actually comes to me, uh, then I think I'm, I'm done here. I did was what I was about to do. So, goodbye and see you soon.